back. Well, I've been going down that little slope, Julia. As you go down, you see how much horse you feel that you have out in front of you. That's right. Now make an adjustment. When the terrain changes, you have to change the... Good... I mean, what I'm trying to get here is I want the rider to instinctively adjust with their position, change their position as the terrain changes. That's what I'm looking for here. And the moment the rider does this once or twice, they go, oh, that's stupid. I, I can do that. That's easy. Yeah, but you have to know that you need in order to be, to be poised above the horse at all times. That does not you know, consist of us staying here all the time. Because this position is great right now. And it's great when the horse canters and steps here. But as the horse jumps, I now tell the rider, push the points of your hips forward because you're going to land in a split second. Now, trot in front of the auditors, trot over the bump, canter on, turn back, canter home. Now 
your foot is very far out in front of you and let the toe turn out slightly. Come on, you big, brave cross-country horse, you. Spur, 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 mash him down there. Circle around. Come with more momentum. Circle back here. And well, don't let him stop. Come on, come on, come on. Reward, reward right away. Even before you reorganize, I, I, I agree he lands in a little bit of a pile right now, but he still has to get the, get the okay from you. He's not in front of your leg. He's got to listen to you. Yes. See, the minute he knows you're, you're definite about it, he, it's when you're wimpy about it that he gets wimpy. <laughs> Don't get left off. 